Uh, it's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something. That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my god, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know! Like, she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my god, I know! Like, get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m., so don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate 857, but that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're gonna miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go! This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy, and the passengers are going crazy! No way! They didn't tell us in briefing, though. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. Um, if you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. I'm a huge fan. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey. You know who I am, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested. And economy is so uncomfortable, and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just going to chill here, if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just gonna go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh, Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me, so can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right. All right. Okay. Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours and if you don't... Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I give up. I give up. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leave yet. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Sir? Ooh. Merry Christmas, everyone. I know it sucks we're, like, working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way, how fun. I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap, these are so expensive. Thanks. My turn. Merry Christmas, Lindsay. Bish, I love you, you know me so 
well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're gonna get fired. Uh, That's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow, and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. Hello, I'll take the next flight $4,000 cash. $750. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. Thousand dollars, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. Mm. Mm. I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? No. Immersion blender? I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery-operated device? Oh, yeah, if you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, why? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere! She's not on the airplane! Please don't take off! Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay! Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox, thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So? That's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be our problem either. Ah! Hell, death do us part, baby! Ah! Get me your supervisor. I'm the supervisor of economy class. How can I help you? Yes, the other flight attendant with blonde hair and black glasses has got to be the worst flight attendant ever. First, I asked for coffee, and then 30 minutes later, she brings me socks. I 
still never got my coffee. And she's always on her phone. That is so unprofessional. And she's got to be the rudest person I have ever met in my entire life. There must be a misunderstanding. Lindsay is one of the best flight attendants we have. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, you're just as bad as she is. You know what? Get me the manager of the plane. What, what do you call it? A purser. Certainly. And bring me a complaint form! Hello, ma'am. I am the purser on this plane. I understand you have a complaint to file. Yes, that's correct. Please fill out this complaint form and I will take care of it. See? Now this is great service. Why can't the rest of them be like you? I'll file this for you right away. Thank you. Change your looks with pair eyewear. Use my code Genie15 for 15% off. Steven, can you please give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Mother! Mother, mother, mother! Ma'am, that's an omelet. Stephen, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother Can one of you guys please do duty free? I'm so tired. Mm-mm. We're all tired. It's your turn, okay? Oh, fine. Duty free, anyone? Duty free. Hi, over here. Um, so what is your favorite fragrance? Yes, sir. Would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel great. That That's great. I'll take it. You keep it. P part, part of and how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us? Great. I'll take 13 more fragrances. Just have the crew pick whatever they want, and then just let me know how much it is. Oh, no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please, just enjoy it. Thank you so much. True tales from the skies, let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw out my baby diaper. We're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you. And will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee. And I noticed you're wearing a jacket. So a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> All right, so a jacket and a backpack charge. And will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, aisle, please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat fee. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet fee then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> no. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. Good evening, ma'am. Can I offer you something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh, no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold, though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you.
Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up though? Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife though is awake and she hasn't had anything to eat either. Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake! Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home. On this flight. <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold. She was chilly, so I gave her a blanket. She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. So sweet. Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking you out right now. She's not looking at you, she's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's kind. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. We all get that, I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine, you'll run. <sighs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden and oh, oh here she comes excuse me miss I just have something for you thank you trash any more trash, trash. thank you Next! Hello. Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <coughs> a remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport. You do realize that I can find you for this. I swear, I didn't know. I swear. I swear, I didn't know. I swear, I swear it was for me. I swear, I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. I will never do it again, boy. This next time, be more aware of what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. You didn't know about cabin crew the forbidden cockpit let's go to all the influencers that keep requesting to take photos in the cockpit while we're in mid-flight it's not gonna happen so please stop asking we are crew and you know how hard it is for us to even get in when cabin crew want to access the cockpit there are strict procedures that we need to follow why
I'm just going to say it. It's to prevent psychos from hijacking the plane. You can only open the doors from inside the cockpit. Airlines will have their own strict procedures. I was trained to first clear the area, make sure that no passengers are around. If there is a lavatory close to the cockpit, we will first make sure it's vacant and then keep it locked open. Another crew member will remain on guard for you to ensure that no one else enters your space. And then we knock on the cockpit door, smile for the cameras, and maybe they'll let you in. Same thing for when we leave the cockpit. We have to make sure everything is clear. So we check the people, check the camera, check with the crew. Everything is good. We leave. Hey, can I take a photo in the cockpit? No! Oh my, you took off that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh! What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me feel very, very nice. Oh! Really? Well... They're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. What? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm gonna get this checked. Great, now we're gonna be late. Could I beat them in the way? Oh my, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh my, please stop. Oh my God. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flat that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it. You lost my luggage. Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said. Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up, but clearly no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag, right? Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared. Poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh. Well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. Excuse me, what's the holdup? I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. Yeah, hurry up! I'm sorry, sir. We're just waiting for one more VIP passenger and we should be on our way shortly. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're getting paid anyways. Actually, no. You're not getting paid right now? We don't get paid until the doors close and we push back. That's crazy! Aren't you pissed off? This is my pissed off face, sir. Hey, dudes. What's up? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry up and sit down! <laughs> Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Secrets of the aircraft lavatory door. Let's go! Did you know as crew, we have the power to control the lavatory door? That's right. For instance, in this lavatory, you see that sign right there? This actually opens up. There's a flap. 
And then there's a sliding mechanism underneath that will help you lock and unlock the lavatories at any time. So why would we even want to open up a toilet door? Number one, people get stuck in it, mostly kids, but adults too. Number two, for emergencies. If someone is passed out in there, we gotta get you out. And for those people that decide to use these facilities for other activities such as, uh, you know, you know, yeah. <whistles> Just wanna let you know that we probably would not open the doors, but That's a really cute pin. Thank you. Pen. 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 I love you too. Oh, 잠깐만, 잠깐만. 제가 Ghost Nine의 팬이에요. I got two tickets for the concert in LA. You want to come? Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, you need to put on your seatbelt, please. Lindsay, I need your help. I'm on my break. Leave me alone. It's an emergency! Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious! I think someone's dying! Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. I like you. I'm not interested. I like you. I said no. I like you. Oh my gosh, you're so obsessed with me. I like you. <laughs> okay, so as flight attendants, we see some freaky dicky shit. Like we travel around the world, we stay in hotels all around the world and we don't get a say on where we stay because the airlines that we work for put us there. I'm gonna share with you guys a scary story of my flight sister, it's, it's like seriously, terrifying this was one of her first flights okay she flew into osaka japan they put her into a hotel and apparently this hotel is known to be haunted she didn't know that all right so she's sleeping and then all of a sudden she wakes up and there is this like lady with long black hair like the ring hovering over her she couldn't move she couldn't scream and then all of a sudden this crazy ass Ghost lady slaps her in the face and then faces her head towards this painting. This was her room. That was the painting. This is her like freaking out on Instagram of what happened. But she flew into this painting and then her hair turned into these squiggly line things. Finally, she was able to move. Okay. She freaked out. She ran to the front desk in her pajamas without shoes like a crazy person was telling the front desk what happened. And they were all like, oh, mm, yeah, uh, sorry, we don't have any other rooms we can put you into. Like it was like normal or something. So instead, she ended up like banging, banging on the door of her crewmate who let her sleep in her room. So that was the end of that. And she was like terrified, right? Right? Okay, so we thought that, you know, we'll never have to hear of this again. Okay, so we're watching TV. And you guys know who BTS is, okay? For those that don't know who BTS is, they are the number one uh, K-pop band in the world. Okay? They had this special in Osaka, Japan. In a hotel. Okay? Yo! In the same freaking room! <laughs> Yo, I, and I know that these, like, it's the same, like, painting in many of the rooms, but they said in the video the room number, and that is the freaking room number. So, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Did something happen? Ah! How much are you giving? 40 bucks. You can't use four. It means death in Chinese. It's bad luck. Ah, it's okay. I'll just give 20 bucks then. Are you using old bills? You need to use new ones or it's bad luck. That's okay. I'll just go to the bank and grab new ones. It's Sunday. 
Well, must be my lucky day then, because I can just get rid of my coins. <laughs> Cheap pass. You know what? I don't care. Coins, old bills, four, four, four. I don't care. They're going to get what they're going to get, because what's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, I fucked up. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll help you find your parents. What's your name? Jeannie. What a beautiful name, Jeannie. Do you remember where you were sitting? Yeah, it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay. I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? Hey, psst, psst. Do you know where this kid was sitting? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Uh, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. See ya. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. You can't all be sick. I'm here by myself. What am I supposed to do? I can't work by myself. Don't worry. You won't be alone. Uh, I have some friends that owe me a favor, so I already sent them to you. And they should be there any minute now. I think they're here. Oh, great. Listen, I should mention that they're actually K-pop idols. You've heard of Ghost Nine, right? They have zero flight attendant experience, but you know what? Help is better than no help at all, right? Okay, I love you. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for coming on short notice. There's no time for training, so uh, let's just do the best we can. Let's go. Hey, look where I'm at now, the climax. The body gets to go get that young, my master, my guitar line. So, you be a master of this too. What are you doing? He wanted me to rap. Yes, I did ask for a rap. See? A chicken wrap for lunch? We'll get that for you right away. I'm, I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Excuse me. Can I help you? It hurts. Uh. 괜찮아요. 세상은 넓고 남자 많아요. 분명 더 좋은 남자 만날 수 있을 거예요. Don't be sad. What are you doing? She's heartbroken. I'm actually not a doctor, I'm a TikToker. This whole plane is useless. Excuse me, uh, my TV is broken. Oh, yeah, it's broken. Well, what am I supposed to do for entertainment for the rest of the night? I know what to do. Do this when I say now. Okay. She we are my show. She we are my show. So now everyone, take off your seatbelts and get up! No, stop! Things you didn't know about Emirates Airlines! Yalla, Habibi, yalla! If you are a first class or business class passenger, you get a chauffeur-driven car included in your ticket. That's right, they will pick you up. They will drop you off at the airport to wherever you need to go. On the A380 aircraft, business and first class passengers can enjoy a bar and lounge on the plane. Yeah. Nobody wants the COVID. All of Emirates Airlines aircrafts are fitted with HEPA air filtration systems, removing 99.97% .9 of all viruses in the air. Have you ever seen a shower on a plane? Uh, uh, this is just for first class. I mean, <laughs> I just asked nicely to take a photo in it. But if you can afford first class, it's pretty cool. Already know that Emirates cabin crew is the best, right? 
Did you know that Emirates has a part of their team over 160 nationalities? Emirates crew are actually hired from all around the world and then they become residents of the UAE. Expo 2020 is happening right now in Dubai until March 31st, 2022. So if you're flying through Dubai with Emirates during this time, well, guess what? You get a free day pass to go see the expo. I'm giving you shade. Welcome aboard. Oh my, you are so beautiful for an Asian. Wow, look, perfect face, perfect figure, beautiful legs. You know what? Here. For you. Th thank you? What's this? <laughs> it's my son's phone number. He's a doctor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, hello there. I guess we're seat buddies. Lucky for you because I make the best seat buddy because I have snacks. You want one? No, thank you. <clears throat> Sweetie, are you cold? Let me warm you up. Please don't touch me. Baby? No, I took the baby from the sleeping mom over there. What? I know, poor thing. The mom was knocked out. She must be very tired. I know how hard it is to be a mom, so I just wanted to help out. My baby, where's my baby? Boop. Like this, we're going to lock the door. Let's go. Do your business. Don't throw trash in there. Close the lid. Then you flush. For those that said toilet water is the same as your coffee water, no it's not. We also have here a change table for your bebe. Okay, change your diapers here. Please throw the diapers in the trash and don't keep it at your seat. If you are feeling air sick, we have some cute bags in here for you to use. You can also ask for help. And yes, cabin crew can actually open the doors from the outside to help you in case you need it. Some airlines do give you extra toiletries, but if it's not there, just ask them and they can give it to you. No smoking. I know some people try. You will get charged. There are smoke detectors. Don't try. So once you wash your hands, you will notice that the water does not go down. You just need to press this button, and down it goes. And that is the airplane for the floor. What's your type? I like a man who's sexy. Oh yeah? Then what am I? This story happened like a bazillion years ago, but recently it just keeps replaying in my mind. So I just want to share it with you. So before my flight attendant days, I was actually working at a hotel as a telephone operator. I would just connect calls. Like I didn't even see guests or other staff members. I was like in this little room, you know, just answering phone calls. I get this one call from a guest and he's like, completely losing it. His airline that he was on lost his luggage so he had no luggage and he was leaving on a cruise the next morning. So he was pretty much going on this rant saying like, you know, what am I supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. You know, I could have reacted in two different ways. Option number one would have been like, oh, that sucks. Good luck to ya. I decided to go with option number two. This is not even my job to do this. I don't even know why I said this, but I said, let me see what I can do. So I got all this information and then I called the airline, I called the airport, and guess what? I found his luggage. Thank the heavens that his luggage was actually at the Vancouver airport and not in some random country. So I literally told him like, listen, 
you need to send this to our hotel right now. Like, I don't care. Put it in a cab, send it in a courier. I don't care. Send it to us right now. The suitcase arrived to our hotel. And then I get a phone call from the front desk. The manager was like, hey, Sandra, get your ass down here right now. There's someone here to see you. And I was freaking out because guess what? I don't get to see people. I don't see people. I stay in my little switchboard dungeon. So I go to the front and waiting for me there is this like huge 50 year old white guy. And then he gives me a huge hug and he goes, you don't understand. You saved my trip. In a split second, it was up in flames and then you saved it. So thank you. And of course I was a mess. So I was like, hey, you're welcome. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to say is, I, I just felt so powerful that day. Just by being empathetic and even just showing just a little bit of kindness to a stranger. You don't know how much that can positively impact that person's life. This story just always makes me happy. And I just want to let you know that you guys are all powerful too. So I hope you use that power and share positive impact and kindness to each other. Also, full disclosure, he did tip me. Uh, I did accept it because I don't get tips at Switchboard. But uh, I didn't do it for the tips, FYI. I didn't think I was going to get one. But still, what a nice uh, benefit. This is like one of the top questions that people ask before they go to Dubai. I recently came back from Dubai, so let me share with you what I noticed. So for those that don't know, the UAE is a majority Muslim country. So everyone, both men and women, are encouraged to dress modestly in public. So does that mean you need to wear an abaya when you're visiting Dubai? No! I mean, you can if you want. Like, I got to try one on. The only time, though, that you are required to be fully covered is if you decide to visit any of their mosques but they will provide the covering for you. At the hotel. You can wear this. Nobody cares. Wear whatever you want. At the pool, wear your bikini. Nobody cares. At the public beach, it's encouraged to wear a one-piece bathing suit. However, seriously, nobody really cared there either. But at the shopping malls, it was a bit different. I noticed that everyone was pretty much modestly dressed. So what does it mean, modestly dressed? Like cover the shoulders up to, say, the knees. So that's pretty much how everyone was dressed. This is pretty much the outfit I wore at the mall, along with just a t-shirt, shorts, as long as they're not like booty shorts, you're good. So now the question is, if you don't cover up, do you get in trouble? There weren't very many, but there were a handful of people in tank tops and nobody really said anything. But I have heard stories that if you wear something too revealing in the mall and the police are there, they will just kindly ask you to cover up. So restaurants, bars, and clubs, they have their own dress code, some of them. So just look it up before you go because you may not be able to wear a hat or running shoes or they might be a little bit fancier. And if you're going clubbing, well, it looked like Vegas. Everyone was like dressed in like this. Seriously. You can wear whatever you want and dress up where are we? Cocker City, Kansas, home to the largest ball of toys. Are you planning for spring break? Come on, this thing weighs 20,000 pounds. We are not spending spring break here. Where is this place? Is this Singapore? Dude, this is where all the crazy rich Asians are. That's a movie. Not everyone in Singapore is rich. Hey, ladies. Y'all in Singapore? We could be. Gross. If we go to Singapore, will you be our sugar dad? Does he stop? Many of you were shocked to learn that when you travel, you should leave your remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant at home because they are illegal. Yes, I was shocked to learn that as well, but I wanted to share that story with you so that you don't have to go through what I had to go through. My story highlighted the UAE because that's where I learned my lesson. But did you know that there are other countries that ban them as well? So if you are traveling, to any of these, leave your toys at home. This last one here, I learned from you guys and I just wanted to share it with you because I was shocked. So Alabama and Georgia apparently banned them, but uh, you're allowed to have them if uh, you have a doctor's note. And Texas, you just can't have more than like six. So 
tell me, why should we hire you? Well, I find a lot of joy in trying to create memorable experiences for others. Um, I'm, I'm also a team player and uh, I'm very good at problem solving as well as I speak seven languages and uh, I'm, I'm certified in first aid, which I know is an asset. But do you dance? Dance? Uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can dance, not professionally, but uh, I did make a TikTok once on a dance trend and it got like a thousand views, so good enough. You're hired. Really? Thank you so much. Here is your uniform. You start Monday. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What did I apply for? To be a flight attendant. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, your dog actually needs to remain in the carrier in the seat in front of you. What? Oh, <laughs> this is not a dog. Ma'am, I know that's a dog with the wig on. <laughs> Please, all animals need to be in the carrier unless you have proof that that's a service animal. Well, I see other passengers acting like animals and I don't see you locking them up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but uh, these are humans. That's a dog, so. For the last time, this is not a dog. Are you a dog? Huh? Are you a dog? <laughs> see? Wait a second. <laughs> You understand me? You're cute. You can stay. You can stay. If you are a flight attendant or if you were a flight attendant, you really don't get phased by much anymore. Like we've seen it all. Oh, I just want to take a shit and just like smear it all over the walls. Disgusting. Mm, whatever. We don't really get phased. Oh, a tarantula is loose in the cabin. Mm, scary, but you know, I could see how it happens. I didn't think it was possible to shock me any further. On a recent Delta flight, there was a situation in the cabin where a passenger in 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat back in its carrier when the flight attendant requested. <laughs> this is a new one. That's a new one. I really wish I was there. <laughs> As flight attendants, we are equipped with duct tape, zip ties, if we're lucky, handcuffs to deal with the really, really terrible passengers. As I'm doing more research on Mexico, I realize that I want to start a petition to equip all flight attendants with the deadliest weapon ever made that can bypass security. The chancla! I don't know how, but when thrown, the chancla is proven to hit its target 100% of the time. And then the recipient of the chancla will listen. You shut up. No, you shut up. Hey, both of you shut up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Hey, what's going on here? I'm going to be late for my shift. We're just waiting for a random drug and alcohol test. A test? What for? They do this sometimes, but more frequently now, though, because apparently there's been a rise in crew coming to work, you know? <laughs> Probably the stress, like I totally get it. Must be holiday travel and people are kind of crazy these days, but yeah, don't worry. It's only going to take like two minutes. You won't be late for your flight. Oh my God, who would do such a thing? Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah, you wanna see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? 
I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine. I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a loose, loose situation for me. Ah!